Hey friends, Kalen Schultz here and I was recently talking to an attorney friend of mine and they're walking me through their training on how to be prepared to present your case in a courtroom. So I figured I'd share. The first element that they're trained on is make sure that you go through your opening statement, your presentation out loud so you know where and when to pause after certain sentences what words to really emphasize. So make sure that you're reading your presentation out loud and you're running through it several times. The second element is in front of a mirror. Sure, we've all heard this since we were in grade school that it's important to get in front of the mirror to present. Well, that still works today. So if you're going to present your case in front of a boardroom or in front of a client, you're gonna present something to sell it to them. Make sure that you've taken the time to Add this component to the four steps. Make sure you're presenting in front of the mirror. The third step is with a colleague. Someone that understands your product, your industry, the subject matter. Someone that can critique you from that side of the table. The fourth element, and I think this is the one that might be overlooked most often, is present to a non-colleague. Someone that doesn't really understand your subject matter, or your topic, or how your product works. When you present to a non-colleague, they are most like the person that you're presenting to, someone that isn't an expert in your subject matter. They'll pose questions about your product that a colleague may overlook because they're familiar with your particular subject. So again, those four parts are out loud, in front of a mirror, with a colleague, and with a non-colleague. Now if you leverage those four pieces, I'm sure that you'll have a powerful presentation the next time you step up to the plate. Have a great day.